In this ukulele tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to play my arrangement of the holiday classic, Deck the Hall. This is gonna be finger style. I'm gonna use all my thumb on this one. Hi, I'm Terry. Welcome to Ukulele like the Pros. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the lessons and tutorials that I post. So this is a, a new arrangement for me. I wanted to do a finger style one, but instead of doing more of like a Using all your fingers, we're just gonna use the thumb. Just because it's a, such a great technique for ukulele players and something that, if you're not strong on it, this will help you with this as well. All right, so let me go ahead and play the first part for you. The thing you wanna remember about this chord melody is that you want to make sure the melody is coming through and the melody is always that highest note and the chord meaning chord melody the chord being you're playing the chord so you don't really need someone strumming or playing chords behind you you're actually doing everything together you're playing the chords and the melody so you want to make sure you have this melody in your head so the melody itself is this And then when you're playing it, you have to hear that. That's really important. Now, the trick to this is that as you're playing, the melody for this song is either gonna be on the first string or it's gonna be on the second string. Now, the challenging part is when it's on the second string, you have to get control of that thumb to make sure you stop on that second string and not accidentally play all the strings, okay? So if you watch it slowly. Right? So that's all control right there. All right, so let's just dive into it. So that's the first part. Let me just show you what I'm doing here. So we're starting with an F chord. This is your regular F chord, but you're gonna add your pinky to the first string third fret because there's your melody note. So it's gonna go all four strings and then you're gonna go, that's zero and one. Then you're gonna move your first finger up to the second string first fret and goes one, zero, both on strings one and two. And then with my third finger, I'm reaching over to the third fret and I'm hitting open third string and a second string. All right, so just that part is this. Okay, get that down. Here's the next part. So what this is, is these double stops now have a string in between them. So I'm starting with my F chord, but I'm not playing the first string. So I'm gonna hit strings four, three, and two. And then I'm gonna use my second finger. It's gonna guide me to the fourth string, third fret. And then I'm gonna add my third finger here to the second string, third fret. And I'm gonna hit this. Also playing the open third string. Then just slide this shape up to the fifth fret, do the same thing and then going right back to the F. Okay, so these are all chord notes. So this part would be this. Now, what I was thinking was, oh yeah, the low, I have a low G on my ukulele here. You can actually play this with a high G as well. Okay, mine's just gonna sound a little bit bass here. All right, so let's do those first two measures and. All right, here's the next part. And then the very last part. I didn't know if I was gonna show you all that yet. So anyways, this next part here is gonna start with, I'm gonna play it like this. So my third finger is gonna be on a fourth string, third fret, open, third string. My pinky is gonna be on the second string, third fret. I'm gonna play that, stop right there on the second string, then hit open, first string by itself, add the pink or first finger on the first fret, and then hit the second string on the third fret. But notice, I wanna keep this chord down the whole time. Right, so keep it down so it rings out. And then you're gonna do a regular F, all four strings. And then you're gonna do this G minor chord. And notice I got third finger, second finger, and pinky, and I'm stopping right here on the second string. G minor, and then F, 
stopping again on the, the second string and then open C chord. So there's open strings, four, three, two, and then back to the F and again, voiding the first string. Okay, so let's play just these last two measures here and. Now that's the first part and then it's repeated again and then you see some of that at the end as well. So you have a good chunk of the song already. And that's only four measures. So let's go ahead and play it now. And. And now that part would repeat. You'd actually do it again, but we're gonna move on for now. All right, let me play the next part for you. All right, so that was more than I want to show you right now. Let's just show you this first part here. So we're going to start off here with this double stop again, which is my second finger here on the fourth string, third fret, open third string, and then my third finger here on the second string, third fret. Again, that's my melody note right there on the second string. So it's, and then you're going to slide it up to the fifth fret, same thing. Now I'm going to slide it up again, but my second finger here is going to lead me to the seventh fret of the fourth string still open third and then my first finger is going to come in on the second string sixth fret i'm going to hit that and then i'm going to go back to three zero three okay so this part is also make sure you pay attention to that rhythm there it's a dotted quarter note followed by so a dotted quarter note followed by an eighth note quarter note and then quarter note all right next part is very similar it's going to be this though All right, so now the second part is starting here on five, zero, five. And then I'm sliding up here. My second finger is on the seven, so seven, zero, six. Now I'm gonna slide that shape up two frets. And now I'm on nine, zero, eight. And then back to three, zero, three. So the second part here is this. All right, let's just put those two measures together. Here we go. And All right, the next part is. All right, so we're gonna start here with just a regular F chord here. It's gonna be, the melody is gonna be your first string open, so I hit all four strings. And then you're gonna hit two individual notes, which is gonna be, I'm gonna use my third finger here on the first string, second fret, and then my pinky on the first string, third fret, while keeping the F chord down. So let it ring. And then I'm going to play this. So what I do here is I'm just barring with my first finger all four strings at the fifth fret. And I'm going to strum all four strings. And then two individual notes, third finger on the first string, seventh fret, and then pinky on the first string, eighth fret, while keeping this bar down. All right, so let's just play that before I show you the last part of it. And it's... Now we have three chords here. And you can hit all four strings on these. So it's just a C chord here to so open fourth string. And then this shape is just like the G chord you play down here. It's just up here on the seventh fret. So this is a C, all four string. And I'm going to slide this back one fret. So now my third finger is on the second string, seventh fret, but I'm going to move my fingers one and two back to the fifth fret. Okay, so it's a little bit of a stretch. This is a G7 chord. And then I'm just going to go to regular old open C. Okay, so it's... And those are just chord notes. So it's just one, two, three, four. All right, so before we do the very last part, let's just play this. And... The last part is going to sound like this. You notice it starts off like the beginning, so just F with the pinky here, so, and the double stops. That's all the same, and then these are the same too. So remember those from the beginning. Here's where it changes. After this, it's gonna go. So 
So what's going on here is we're gonna have a B flat chord, and the B flat chord is just like your G chord here, but just up on the fifth fret. We're gonna avoid the fourth string on this one. So we're just gonna strum this, and you're just gonna go hit that four times. So, and then we're gonna jump to a. This is an F chord, but you don't have to play the fourth string here. So I'm just doing third finger on five, pinky on five, first finger on three. So, and then just your G minor. And then this is a F chord here, but I'm avoiding the, the uh, sixth string here. So just, and then C7 is just three, zero, three, but I'm using my third finger open and then pinky and that's going to get us right to the last chord which is your f but you got to stop the melody here on the second string all right so just that part here from the b flat is and the one thing i notice if you're doing the b flat and then when you go to this f your first finger here when you go to the g minor can just slide back you can do the g minor I use my second and pinky for the G minor, but a lot of you may use your second and your third. That's fine as well. And then. So let's just play this whole last section here. Here we go, from the F and. And you could retard a little bit there, just slow it down, right? Retardando just means to slow down at the end. All right, so that's the whole piece. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it from the top. Remember that first section, we're gonna do it twice. Here we go. Ready, and. There's my arrangement of deck to halls, finger style playing with your thumb. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I hope you enjoy it. Get it down, it's a great piece, and we'll see you next time.